Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today what we're going to do is a specs review of the Dwarf 2 Telescope versus the ZWOC Star S50 to see which one based on the actual specifications of the device is the best telescope. So let's go ahead and get into this video right now. So the first device that we're going to look at the specifications for is the ZWO C-STAR S50. Now the ZWO C-STAR S50 has a weight of 3 kilograms or 6.5 pounds. It has an aperture of 55 millimeters and it uses the IMX462 sensor. Now the IMX462 sensor is a Sony owned sensor that is an ultra low light camera capable of getting the details of dimmer galaxies and nebulas within the night sky. It has 1080 pixel resolution, 100 frames per second video, and it has a pixel size of 2.9 by 2.9. The next thing we see on the list is the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi runs on 5G and 2.4G Wi-Fi, which is good for your older devices and your newer devices. The size is 142 by 129 by 257 millimeters or 6 by 5 by 10 inches. And it can record in MP4 and AVI format and take photos in the TIFF format. Now the next thing we see is the lens. It uses a lens system called the Triple Apochromatic Lens System, which has three lenses stacked together. Now the ZWO company hasn't given much detail on the lenses themselves, but we can be sure that they will be top quality based on their other products and telescopes and even cameras that they've released in the past. Now the next thing that we want to look at is actually the battery life. The ZWOC Star has a battery life of 6 hours when it is fully charged, but it can be connected to a power bank if you want to do extended shooting throughout the night to get more exposure on a certain deep sky object target. Now the next important feature that we see on the ZWOC Star is actually the focal length of the telescope. The telescope has a focal length of 250 millimeters, which is very good for such a small smart telescope. Now given the small focal length, it still is able to take good pictures as you can see here. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but those four images only had about 12 or 20 stacked images together. Now, I'm sure that you could get much better images of those deep sky objects that were shown in those photos. Those were literally just samples, but if you were able to take more photos to stack them together to process them later on, you could get a very, very nice, beautiful image. Now, the next thing that we want to look at is the resolution. It has 1080 resolution, which is very good. The price point of this telescope is currently at 399 US dollars, but after the month of July, it will be going back up to $499. It is currently on a pre-sale uh, at the time of the making of this video. So now what we want to do is we're actually gonna start looking at the Dwarf 2 specs, and we will see which one is better out of the two. Now, the first thing we want to notice about the Dwarf 2 is that it has an aperture diameter of 24 millimeters and a focal length of 100 millimeters. Now, the important thing to notice about those numbers is that those are both actually less than half of what the ZWO C Star has, which means that it lets in about less than half light and gets less than half detail of what the ZWO C Star can actually get. But despite the smaller numbers, it doesn't necessarily mean that the Dwarf 2 is going to get bad images. For example, I have taken many photos with the Dwarf 2 and post-processed them and have been able to get very, very nice images of deep sky objects such as the Pinwheel Galaxy, the Needle Galaxy, the Monkey Head Nebula, and Bode's Galaxy. Now, all of these pictures were taken with the Dwarf 2 telescope and processed later on in serial. So this really just goes to show the power of this small device, the, given the fact that it has such a small aperture, it is still very capable of taking very nice deep sky object photos. Now the next thing we want to look at is the field of view. It has a field of view of 3 degrees, which is much bigger than the ZWO C-STAR, which means that because of the bigger field of view, it's able to fit in objects like the Orion Nebula, which the ZWO C-STAR isn't as easily able to fit inside of the field of view because it is such a large object. Now the next thing we're going to look at is the digital resolution. It has a digital resolution of 8 megapixels for the telephoto lens, which is not the most ideal, but it is still good enough to take beautiful pictures of deep sky objects. So now comes the big question. We've seen the specs for the Dwarf 2 telescope, and we've seen the specs for the ZWO C-STAR, but the question is now, 
who is the winner, which one is the best telescope, maybe the best option for you to get. Well, despite the fact that I love the Dwarf 2 so much and have had such a great experience with it, I'm going to say the Sea Star is the winner for this one, but why? Well, despite the fact that it has a smaller field of view, I feel like the field of view is better because you can see the smaller deep sky objects in the night sky and get much more detail in them because of the bigger focal aperture, bigger focal length, bigger aperture size. Everything is better when it comes to the optics. Personally, that's, that's how I feel about this telescope. Honestly, I have absolutely no complaints about the Dwarf 2. It has been a great product, and I recommend that you get this one as well, but I still feel like the ZW Seastar S50 is the winner for this one. Now, I hope this video helped you guys to decide which telescope is the best for you based on the specifications of the device. Um, again, I feel like you guys should just get them both, try them out for yourself, but I hope this helped you guys see a little bit more of the details of the product itself, not based on the opinion of other people, just what is written on their website so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comments if you want me to do tutorials for processing deep sky objects or have other reviews in mind that you would like for me to do thank you very much for watching and please again like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content i wish you guys clear skies and have a good night